Hey guys, welcome to another segment of Cooking with Carlita. I'm showing you how you can make a leftover, like some leftover roasted jerk chicken. Look, show them the roasted chicken. I thought more that was the end. And I made some quesadillas. I made some cheese sauce. My Carlita's um, Creole seasoning cheese sauce. And of course, I have the recipe for that in the cookbook. It's like it could be nacho cheese, it's just a cheese um, sauce. We make macaroni and cheese with it. We made macaroni and cheese with it last night. Also good for nachos. But this is how your quesadilla will come out. Look how pretty. Look at that. And I'm about to show you the cheese, of course, is going to be more soft. I had to let mine kind of sit just a little bit because I'm making my son another one because he wanted uh, another one because it was so good. So, so you don't have to waste your food. And this is so, it's got lemon, all my, there's a recipe for this here, chicken. Oh, this looks so good. Look at it. Oh, I know the men going, mm, mm, mm. Now you're going to put this, all you're going to do, I put a little bit of uh, grapeseed oil in my skillet. Okay. And I'm just putting the chicken, so you don't have to waste you're going to put that like that. You can pause the video. Alright guys, now I'm showing y'all. Put the quesadilla inside of the skillet with just a little bit of gracie oil. Because you want it to, to, to toast and get brown. So you don't want it to be greasy either, okay? So, get my fire's up high, okay? And you can use any skillet. It doesn't have to be a non-stick skillet. I mean, you know, use what you have. Come on, let's be intuitive. Let's be um, frugal. Let's be, um, you know, be on our budget. But watch how this comes out, okay? The reason why you want it on high, because you want it to toast, okay? And you're watching it, okay? And you don't want too much grease. That's what old folks used to say, but it's oil, okay? In your skillet, because you're not frying it and you don't want it to be oily either okay so this is not a non-stick skillet this is my good cooking skillet that i got from tj mac mm, it's a whole set but anyways um i've been having it for about two years i always invest in some good um pots and pans because the reason why you want to do that now this wasn't that expensive because it's come from tj mac but i think for the set it was probably eighty dollars for the five quart, the skillet, and the sauce pan. I want the other pan that goes with it, but the, the pieces came individual two years ago, and so it was TJ Maxx that you can get this from. So you can get some TJ Maxx home goods. She's already starting to toast. Oh, it's so pretty. Now my son won't see this as dark as mine, so I have to let it sit just a little bit longer. But you can see the cheese is melting already. So you want on there where the cheese melts really, really good, okay? So, and I want you to see how the cheese is melted to that, okay? And this is already, see, there's the onions, the bell peppers, and all that, the garlic, the lemon, all that's already in it, so you don't have to put any more seasoning on it, you know? So I'm going to flip this because, watch the flip. Bam! Put that Waffle House flip. <laughs> if you're from Texas, you know what I'm talking about when I say the Waffle House. <laughs> oh, I used to watch them do that. I used to love going to the Waffle House. But anyway, this is basically the finishing touches of this quesadilla, okay? And see, it's, see it's glue. See? It's, it's not coming up like the, it was before because of the cheese sauce. So, this has been a segment of Cooking with Carly. Yum, yum, yum.